what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at what we need to do to do a, to cut a hole in this face, okay, of a given size, so that it goes all the way through this block and comes out the other side. Yep. When we've done that, when I've done that, I'm going to show you how we can go back into that sketch and move it so the hole is in the middle of the block. Okay. So initially, we're going to put it anywhere, and then we're going to move it in the right place. Now, you, if you're doing this for real, you would put it in the right place in the first place, probably. But it's about having practice at moving things around and making sure and understanding how you get things in the right place. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do a new sketch. SolidWorks immediately asks you where you want to put it. On the front face. Okay? So we click that face. And then what we can do is go up here and say we want to be normal to that face. So we're going to look at it. Okay? And then all we're going to do is pick a circle and draw one of any size. Yep. We're then going to smart dimension that to, in my case, 25 millimeters. What size you make it is of no real significance in this case. Okay? You'll notice it's blue because at the moment we haven't fixed its center point or any other point on it. it it's not fixed relative to that face. We're going to leave that for a minute. We're going to tick OK. We're going to go to Features and do an extruded cut. OK? If you evolve your um, model, you'll see it starts to give you a preview of what it's going to do. It's cutting from the sketch plane. OK? The default is for the hole to be blind. All right, now, blind, if you do it far enough, so if you've got a 25 mil depth block and you leave that blind and put 50 in, the hole will go all the way through. But then, if you make that block over 50, the hole will be blind. And that's not what the design intention was. So if your design intention is for that hole always, in every case, to go all the way through, you click on this and you say through all. And then, whatever size you make that block, that hole will go all the way through. And then we tick and we have a hole in our block. Okay? To get it in the right place, edit the sketch. I'm going to, for convenience, go normal to it. Now, what we've also got up here under line is something called a center line. So we can select that and draw a corner to corner center line on our sketch and press escape. We can then select the center of the circle. If you hover over the line, you can right click and say select midpoint. So do that first shot. Select right click and select midpoint align, control center circle, coincident with notice how the circle's now gone black. Because we defined not only its diameter, but where the center is. We've fixed it in terms of left and right, up and down on that surface. So we tick that now and then we exit the sketch and our model updates so the holes in the middle. Alright? Complete that gentlemen. 